Now we're going to finish the last subject area of this lecture, and that is the thoracic uh, outlet. Uh, anatomists actually describe this as the thoracic uh, inlet, but clinically the thoracic outlet uh, will have the following uh, boundaries. First is the manubrium, and we see the manubrium right in through here. The boundary would be its superior limit that we see right around here. The next structure that contributes to the boundary uh, would be the first rib, and uh, these would be bilateral structures. And so if we follow the superior surface of the manubrium in either direction out here laterally, uh, we see the first rib on this side and then the first rib on the opposite side contributing to the thoracic outlet. The last anatomic structure that contributes to the thoracic outlet is the first thoracic vertebra, and we see that labeled right here. In this uh, area of the thoracic outlet, we have uh, scalene muscles. Uh, anatomy is full of geometric configurations, and so here is yet another one. This is called the interscalene triangle. The interscalene triangle is going to be bounded anteriorly by the anterior scalene muscle that we see here attaching to the first rib inferiorly. Next muscle that contributes to the interscalene triangle is your middle scalene. And we see the middle scalene here running posterior to the anterior scalene and also uh, attaching to the first rib. The third boundary to this triangle, as you might expect, would be the base of the triangle, and that is the interval of the first rib between the anterior scalene muscle and your middle scalene muscle. Within the inner scalene triangle, we have some structural contents. And uh, here we see brachial plexus uh, elements. And more specifically, we're looking in the, at the area of the inferior trunk of the brachial plexus. If we look on the opposite side, another content of the interscalene triangle is the subclavian artery. So it will pass through this triangle between the anterior and middle scalene muscles. Now we're going to identify another a structural component here, and that is the uh, subclavian vein. And as we look in the illustration here, we see the subclavian vein passing through the thoracic outlet. However, it will travel over the superior aspect of rib one, but it lies anterior to the anterior scalene muscle. Consequently, the subclavian vein lies outside of the inner scalene triangle, whereas the artery passes through the triangle.